What's up guys? Uh, I got a cool video for you guys today. So right now I'm about to go with Dom, one of our pitchers, to meet with Mark Lid for some breakfast. And after that we're going to meet up with some of the Cubs players you guys have known from my Instagram. And it's going to be cool. I'm going to be doing a Q&A with them and you guys are going to be able to see a day in their life and we're probably going to hit them all after. So uh, can we show you guys that and stay tuned for a really cool episode. Just finished up breakfast and Dom's here and he has a message for one of the glove counts out there. Shout out Eric Walbridge, Glove Cowboy, Rear G Sports. <laughs> you guys are the man. Right hand, Eric. Hey, right hand pitcher Arizona State. <laughs> to my place right now, I have the food for Cole and Brennan, so. Fuck. Hell no. Alright, finally back home. We're gonna go upstairs right now. Alright guys, so we're here at the Q&A part, and uh, these guys are just going to tell uh, you guys who they are, and then I'll start with the questions. So we're going to start down the end. Hi, my name is Brennan Davis. I'm from Chandler, Arizona. I went to Basha High School, and I'm an outfielder in the Chicago Cubs organization. What's up guys? Cam Sanders, uh, from Thibodeau, Louisiana. I went to LSU, and I'm a pitcher in the Chicago Cubs organization. What's up guys? My name is Cole Franklin. Uh, I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I went to Broken Arrow High School, and I'm a pitcher in the Cubs organization. What's going on guys? I'm Cole Rutter here. I went to Hart High School and I'm an outfielder in the Cubs organization. What's up guys? I'm Chris Allen. I'm from San Francisco. I went to junior college. Uh, I'm a pitcher in the Chicago Cubs organization. Alright, so we're going to jump right into the questions. And these are from you guys. I'm going to be saying who's asking the question and they'll just all answer them or like one at a time, like whatever they want. So uh, we'll just start randomly. So the first question is from Trev underscore EBE. Who's your favorite player growing up? And you guys can answer whatever. Justin Verlander, just for the fact that I like the way he pitched and everything and how he went about like his competition. Yeah, I like to model my game after low game. Mm -hmm. I just loved how he played the game. A lot of heart, a lot of effort. There you go. Then, <laughs> uh, what was your favorite team growing up? Uh, I was a big Dodger fan. I grew up in LA. Uh, I was a diehard Dodger fan, so you know that was one of my top two teams. It was them and the Cubs that I got picked for. I was a diehard San Francisco Giants fan, so I guess we can't be friends anymore. Yeah. Uh, I, was a, I was a big St. Louis Cardinals fan because I'm going to pitch for him, and that's the only reason I like him. Alright, so this question is from Wyatt. What music do you jam to pregame? Like, what keeps you in the zone? That's a good question. I'm a big rap guy. Uh, definitely, rap's the way to go. Gets you hyped up, gets you ready for a game. Uh, well, before I pitch, I honestly listen to, like, Screamo X. That's pretty much all I listen to, but it's rap. But yeah, yeah. It's kind of rap, but it's kind of screamo. So, uh, before I play a big game, I need something I can, you know, I can sing the lyrics to. So, Katy Perry, Firework, <laughs> really gets me going. Hey, what artists do you guys listen to? What's hey, your I'm a big, big little baby, Gunna. <laughs> yeah. Young Boy, yeah. Never Broke Again. Yeah. Hey, 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 young boy. Gotta represent yeah. the Louisiana boys. Oh, 17. <laughs> 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 right, so, hey, so we got, we got Katy Perry, uh, Gunna, Cole, who's your... Who's your go to artist? Lil Baby. Right now, right now. Yeah. Right before a game, bro, I was listening to like Suicide Boys. I was trying to get, you know, I was trying to get hyped up. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Suicide yeah. Boys made me want to, dude, that doesn't, that doesn't even get me hyped, though. Hey, what, 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 what about you? What do you listen to? Me? Yeah. Ah, bro, Lil Baby, um, Gunna, uh, pretty much everything he listens to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, we'll like, like, we're all together all the time, yeah. and this will be listening to. Yeah, all that new yeah, trap. Hey, that new trap. Oh, yeah. He just says future. Oh, Juice World. Oh, Juice, Juice World. Juice World's fire. Juice World. I wouldn't listen to before a game, though. Nah. Yeah. I, our dangerous isn't that. I'm not but I ain't trying to put y'all on some. <laughs> Called Spazzy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, well, this question's from Throwing Forward Gloves. Uh, what's your best advice you give a ball player trying to make it to the next level? 
But like, what set you guys apart from other players at your level? Uh, I definitely say that like this constant work. Like you can never really stop grinding in this game. Uh, it's a very tough game. They're gonna you're gonna be broken down mentally all the time. Uh, just you know, work your butt off day in and day out, and you know, definitely that talent will shine through. And definitely have fun with it. That's the number one thing. As soon as you start having fun with the game, it gets a whole lot easier. Because once you play relaxed, you see so many people that are tense and like they strike out and their their game's over. Just have fun with the game. And you bet. That and uh, basically like. People, as you grow up, you can be the best player when you're like 12, you 13, you. But when you grow up, that that's the competition starts narrowing down, and everybody's everybody's a top-notch player once you start getting to the next level. So you got to make sure you can just grind it out and keep pushing and make yourself stand out. Yeah, you have to make sure there's something that separates you between you and the other guys. You have to have a plus plus run or plus plus hit. You have to have something that puts you over the top and makes people talk about you. And also like always be a good teammate. Like coaches look for that more than anything is, you know, what you can do on the field as well as off the field. Like if you're going to pick your, your teammate up and he's having a bad day, that's what they really look for. And that's what they can really see. So that's a good way to set you apart from the other guys. And honestly, just have something to motivate you to get you to that next level. Like mine was pretty much like, just I want to prove people wrong. Cause I was always like the smallest kid growing up. And like, I always wanted to prove that people say I couldn't do anything that and just show them I could do it. Questions from Afarina underscore twelve. How often do you guys train? Six uh, days a week. Every day besides Sunday. Yeah, six days a week, day in and day out. <clears throat> Always grind. Never stop. <laughs> Head it straight to the top. Oh, oh, you gotta make sure. You gotta make sure to give yourself time off though. You can't. You can't go year round like people do sometimes. Yeah, yeah a lot of guys throw their yeah, arms up. Yeah, 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 you you got to have you, hey, you guys play travel ball? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. I didn't play travel ball as a pitcher. Oh, I, dude, you get burnt out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of guys like threw their arms out when they were 13 years old. They don't butt. I didn't so, even really pitch like that. I just put. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. really pitch like that either. Also, middle infield. Yeah, I was like middle infield. Short play over sports. And uh, this one's from Top Other Gloves. What's the journey like getting the minor leagues? So that's maybe like draft process and stuff like that. Dude, it's, 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 it's insane, it's honestly. Tough. It's tough. It is, it is out of this world. Like, you phone get, calls. Yeah, a lot of phone calls, a lot of meetings, like a lot of pressure. You know, you're at a game and you get like, you know, 10, 15, 20 scouts at each game. Like, it's different. It's really cool. It's really fun. But it is like very nerve wracking and very, you know, a tough experience. Bro, those forms? You oh, feel like, oh, right. <laughs> So the questionnaires, the questionnaires they send you raw are like three no. pages long. The big <laughs> book. The biggest one of them took me like two hours. Of yeah, that was no, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, the really Indians one took me like two hours. Did you get the one that had like the test at the end? Yes. yes. I, was, I, was, I was like, I was like, I don't know how to do it. I was like, hey, 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 Mental toughness, you scored 95, the average score is like a 60. Attention to detail, 5. Average score, 60. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, hey, 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 there, was, there was one, like personality test, it was like, which one would be most likely to derail you? Drugs, women, or uh, I think it's someone else. else. I did. I had this one. I had, I had, there was no winning. Yeah, like, I think it was yeah. Yeah. drugs or women. Yeah. yeah. Drugs, <laughs> drugs, <laughs> drugs, <laughs> you're not you succeeding. But no cap. The draft process is stressful. Make sure you try to stay out of trouble because yeah. when they see uh, that, that's on your social media. It's just it's not, hey, it's not worth it, man. I just, guys, stay as clean as you can on social media. Yes, yes, yes. Social media is huge. Social media, social media. Like, social media. Like, like, social media. We, have, we have guys in our organization that literally follow all of our social media day in and day out to make sure we're not liking random things, we're not posting random things. Like, just make sure your social media is clean and family friendly at all times. You gotta, be able to, you, gotta you gotta be able to represent the organization. Yeah, that, that's what it comes down to. No matter what level you're at in pro ball, you're representing a franchise. Yeah. So you just you gotta take it as seriously as possible. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's then like, they take it serious like business. Yeah, it is business. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good question from your great gear. Who has the best glove around the clubhouse? Ooh, Ooh, I, 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 I like Kansas. I like Kansas. 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 I just got some new shipment from Marucci. They, they hooked me up with that all blue, that cub blue with a little bit of red detail on it. Uh, hey, it's, got, it's got the cross in it too. Nah, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's Kansas. It's I like sliders. 
Which one's hotter? I didn't see that. Gibbs is pretty fire. Oh, the the, the one with like, like the raw, like the yeah, baseball yeah, scenes on it on the eye. Yeah, 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 that's clean. So um, the next question from J Drizzy underscore seven. All time favorite thing to eat before a game. Ooh, that is tough. Oh. Chicken bacon ranch from Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Salsa garden chips with it. Salsa garden. Ooh. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's it's it's it. It's Salsa garden sun chips. I got one of those. Salsa garden sun chips slap. I don't really have anything. I mean, like, are we talking about Romo? Yeah, I eat a ton, bro. I eat a ton. Romo, it's chicken and rice. Yeah, it's like, Romo, I eat chicken and rice. Yeah, he's always Yeah, I eat a ton. 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 I Chicken parm, it will have all kinds of stuff. Hamburgers, hot, like whatever you want, they had it right there for you. Yeah, hey, shout out to the National. National. We had uh, <laughs> Olive Garden catered once. <laughs> yeah, once. for the state, we had like Olive Garden catered yeah, right once. <laughs> from Dallas Goal uh, 12, what's one thing you did different than everyone else and that believe made you like put you ahead of the others? That could be in high school. Dude, I, like I, high school. I just feel like I had a different mindset. Like, I, I, I've always wanted to be the best I could be, so I kind of never really looked back on it. Especially like, like one thing that separated me like my work ethic. I always wanted to like if I had a guy in the outfield with me, I always wanted to outwork him so I would look better than him regardless of what he did. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I think one thing that you can control is your effort. Yeah, Doesn't and you could always see in high school, first guy on the field, first guy off, oh, chest on everywhere. Yeah, showing, and showing your tools. It definitely doesn't take talent to hustle and get in no. and get out. Uh, question from Russell. Um, please let Cole fight Chris. Right, we scored it. <laughs> ah, nah, dude, I have to throw Chris right through this fourth oh, 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 hey, Chris, you got no shot. Dude, it's not even yeah. fair. It'd be like, this is not even fair. I'm not I even got, fair. I got a hundred on Cole. <laughs> I'm going max on Cole. I got, I got seven dollars on me. <laughs> you should, uh, hey, you should give that to me. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, we're gonna be fine. It's so cool. All right, hey. and this question's from Matthew. Um, so he's asking about like your glove deals, like, and I know you guys have like the Wilson glove deals with they're with um, base or with they're with Major League Baseball. So what was it like receiving your first Wilson? Oh, it's from the franchise. Was it cool? I saw it different because I really never got stuff for free like that. Yeah, yeah. And, like so when I got stuff like that, oh, first day, it was dope. Yeah, yeah, the first day we gotta go over to like the. Our store, store and they just kept like, yeah, they gave us free socks, they gave us some pants, they gave us hats, they gave us gloves, cleats. Uh, I, I was like, unreal. Especially when you get like a deal with like, like a company, like, yeah, uh, getting a glove, like I remember getting my first custom Rollins glove from like for free. Yeah, you tell them about Dude, it. Dude, oh my god, it was amazing. Like I, I got a Rollins deal, I get uh, like two or three gloves a year. Um, I, I was working extra shifts whenever I could clean the baseball fields, umpiring, just to like afford a new glove. Now I'm getting gloves for free, you know, seeing a glove come in my locker. It's 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 something that you don't you know you just can't teach. Like, it's something to work for for you guys yeah, that are yeah, young. Yeah. Like honestly, like you if you want that one day, just keep on grinding. Yeah, and I used I used the same outfield glove for all four years of high school. So wow. getting a new one, was especially awesome. like cleats too. Like yeah, like you get new cleats too. Like yeah. I was using the same cleats was, like I like the same season and oh, summer. Yeah. Like, yeah. like hey, after after like a couple weeks, don't not get new ones. I'm like whoa. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's just different because you get, like you get stuff like you say like you just have like your little rubber toe starting to fall off a little bit. This seems like three new pairs. Yeah. It is so sick. Batting gloves, here's a box. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's insane. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I lost my pro. Dude, you were like, like 15 batting gloves. I know. Hey, I first, I first got to Arizona. I, I was throwing them out like 25 batting gloves, and I was doing this. Oh my god, I had more gloves to deal with. Dude. I didn't even know what to do. All right, so this question is from Alan Seven O, and what kind of glove do you get? And you can also add on to that, like what glove do you game right now? Hey, what, what's up, what's our game right now? What's your game? Sorry, right 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 Brent. Ooh. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't, I'm like I'm not, I'm new to clubs. Is it wrong? He's new to clubs. He, that's his name. <laughs> 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 no, it's not. It just went wrong. It just went wrong. What do you use? Oh, Wilson A2000. There you go. There you go. That's all you need. What colors? Um, I'm using black and gold pinstripes. Pin. Beautiful. Pin. There we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got the I got the blue Marucci. <laughs> Super light. Like Cold, it. yeah. You gotta see this guy. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it because like, mine's like an Under Armour prototype. Yeah, I'll just tell him that. It's like, it's like, it's like, yeah, I'm getting rich for sending it out. Yeah, it's just like an Under Armour prototype. Like, I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's just blonde. And he has to deal with Under Armour, yeah. so like, that's how 
He got that. Uh, I use a I use a Rawlings Pro Preferred. I got the 302 model. I got it a uh, blonde with all like the blue lacing and all stuff. Oh man, I think it's cold. I love your glove. I saw it's cold. cold. Crazy. I, I got all gray 44. So that's. So oh, I'm not like right the right random gloves either. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 I got this dude. I got all gray 44. This dude bought a catcher's glove I just to catch flat ground. I got a catcher's glove. I got a glove for shortstop. I don't have first base gloves. He's left man. Oh bro, I remember. Jackson, everyone was just absolutely destroying me for being yeah. signed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, remember I got the Under Armour glove? Yeah, and I was like, oh, I was like, all right, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that feels fine. Yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, I know. Under Armour, bro. Oh, sweet. That was fun, though. That was back in the hotel days. Yeah, I was like, bro, I'm really about to have to switch. I mean, that horrible wipeout where you're taking like five minutes just to calm down. No, that was that was a good day. The hotel days? No, it was not good. That was not horrible. That was fun. That's what he's in his own room by himself. Yeah. I was sleeping with you guys before. What are you talking about? Yeah, he gave me this from Mad Town Leather. Uh, the worst road trip experience yet. Oh. Oh. Bus breakdown. Oh. Bus breakdown. Oh. Bus breakdown. Oh. Dude. Oh. Actually, we went to this guy. We were both D bags. We were 15 minutes away from our conference. <laughs> no, yeah, we were 15 minutes away, and the lady in the bus had the bus going the whole game. Like, she has, like, no, left it running. She had, no, she had her all the way there. They had no air conditioning. Yeah, no air oh, conditioning. It was like 115. And it was so With hot. no air conditioning. All of us were literally dripping sweat. And after the game, we're all like, all right, let's go home. I want to get, like, back to the hotel, go get some food. The bus, like, doesn't even start because this lady had it on the whole game. And we had to sit there. We had to pull to a gas station, bro. Hey, that nice R8 pull up, though, that, was, that made it all work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my first time talking to Medina. He walked up, she was like, can we take a photo with you? I was like, Oh, all right. Somebody could have pulled up and Hey, for me, when I was in Eugene, we had a 10 hour bus ride to Canada. No. Oh, oh my. God. And it was brutal. I mean, pretty much everybody had to sit with somebody. So it was either one person in the seat, one person on the floor, or you had to sit next to each other the whole time. Uh, so it was, it was pretty humbling. You, you got to know your, your neighbor really yeah. well. Hey, speaking of that, though, like when we were in the Dominican, we went to go five miles, it took us three hours. Oh it was the God. worst bus driver ever. Yeah, roads. Yeah, literally, like, there's so many roads. Road. Yeah. Yeah. There's, no tra there's no traffic laws at all. People just drive. Oh, dude, it was awful. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Nikki costs 45. He says, uh, what's one thing you know now that you wish you would have known in high school or a college player? Mm -hmm. That could be general about baseball. It's going to be on the draft. Yeah. What's thing I wish you would have known? Uh, mine would definitely have been getting the weight room. Yeah, like, like, cause like I never lifted in high school because our like it just wasn't part of our regiment. So like coming in here, like we do lift a lot. Um, so like my form was just god awful. Yeah, I can't. I can't say I can do everything though, cause like I, I you're mentally prepared. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah man, the whole family's in baseball yeah. too, so I kind of knew what to look for and like what to kind of work for. So yeah, I wish I would have worked on pitching a little more. <laughs> when, I, when I was growing up, I was just like, hey. I'm a shortstop. Like, I'm not a pitcher. I was like, I'm not a pitcher. I'm, I'm a shortstop. I, I told, I told my coach straight up. I was like, my junior year, I was like, look, coach, I don't want to, I don't want to go through bullpens or nothing anymore. I was like, just put me at shortstop. I'm trying to, I'm just that's that's just all I'm trying to do is play infield. And he was like, no, you gotta be a pitcher. That's, that's not what bro. That's, that's not what bro. I was like, I was like, I'm never gonna be a PO. I swear. Yeah, that's <laughs> never okay. That's terrifying for kids to say that. That he needs to work on pitching. The dude sits like 97. <laughs> that's horrible. Yeah, let me get some of those miles per hour. Hey, he threw 79 in the bullpen once. You gotta give him some. Please. <laughs> if it was possible, I think I would have told my younger self to like take care of my body more. Because you break it down so much, yeah. and then the repeated um, use over and over, like pro ball will get you. Yeah. Just game after game, your body starts breaking it is down. Tough. Not so much in high school and college, though. Yeah, like, once you get to pro ball, you learn it. Yeah, yeah. like, you spend a lot of your time just recovering. Yeah, yeah, so yeah guys, recovery is key, too. You get out of your team. Really yeah. keep your I don't think I've ever yeah. loved an ice bath as much as like after it. Like, so oh, I still have no scars It is, nope, dude. Nope. Never, as, hard it, never. as hard as it is to get out, it feels good. I was like, I'm not going to get this. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from Pitch 4 Ball Gloves. And how did you guys each get, uh, like, get prepared for the draft? You don't really have oh, to get prepared. Yeah, yeah. Like mentally? Yeah, it's got, yeah. We're still playing. Yeah, no, we're not playing. You, you, you got to get Yeah, I was going to say. You got to mentally, like. Whoa. Just be ready. Dude, for draft day, draft day was stressful. Yeah, did you oh, guys on draft day? Did you like? Did you set the phone down and do other stuff, or were you silent in your room? I was asleep. Honestly, you were asleep. I was chilling in the pool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I was, I, I was like, <laughs> man, I really hope they call me. <laughs> no, when the coach called me, I, I was asleep on the couch because I was like, I'm yeah, Didn't you miss the ball? 
Uh, yeah, no, I missed the call. Yeah, guys, he missed the he, initial call. I'm, I was like, <laughs> like, I don't know anything about the draft, and like someone told me like some bad advice, so I was like, oh, alright, I'm not getting drafted this year, I don't know why. So I just kind of like, put down the phone, I was up for like 48 straight hours. So I was like, alright, I'll take a nap real quick. I woke up 10 minutes later, I'll take my phone. Uh, hey, call me back when you get this. I was like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not trying to have to do it. I was, I was actually just sitting on the couch with my computer up, just, just waiting the whole time. I was too. I was. I really like, tracking the draft. Yeah, this yeah, guy's got to be my year. Yeah, was, bro. We had a bad game. Well, I started getting frustrated, bro, because I was supposed to be like, that was supposed to be like, yeah, like, earlier, but then, then I was like, yeah, I'm happy on the draft. Yeah, happy on the draft. It's it's hard because like I didn't know if I was gonna be a first day guy or a second day guy. So no, I, and it's just it's honestly it's 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 I didn't want to have people over in case things didn't go wrong, didn't go like what I wanted, yeah, yeah. and just be embarrassed. So it was tough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I invite your kind of people. Like yeah, it's, 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 you can't you, you can't really like prepare for it because it's it's yeah, so it's crazy. There's a lot of politics, politics too, right? I was like, there's politics going on. There's, there's politics in everything. everything. I didn't know anything about the draft. It's just spontaneous. Back right after we bust. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you guys for the questions. All right, thank you guys for the questions. Thank you guys so much. much. Hey, I appreciate yeah. you guys watching. <laughs> hey, Coachella gloves. Show them love. Yeah, hey, buy them up, buy them up. You already know. We're gonna go shopping right now, so uh, you're gonna be coming with us right now. So we'll you guys oh, see you right. there. So both Coles are gonna tell you about some of their purchases uh, from Major League Baseball, so here we go. All right, so this is my truck. Uh, it's 2018 Ram Mega Cab Cummins. It is the absolute first purchase and probably the only purchase <laughs> of my Major League signing bonus. Um, it's my first big boy purchase. I bought it all by myself, paid it all by myself. Uh, and I love this truck to death. Right How much now, is it lifted? What do we right got? now we got a six inch Pro Comp lift. Six. We got 37 inch tires on 18 and a half inch rims. We got 13 inches, 13 and a half inches wide. Right now we got uh, aftermarket sport headlights like Coles. We got an M1 grill. We got a, we got a rough country light bar. Uh, right now it has a five inch straight pipe on it with a six inch uh, exhaust tip. This thing is making around 505 horsepower right now. All right now on to Coles. What's up MTV, welcome to my truck. Uh, well, Honestly, I'm not like a truck guru like Cole, so I don't really know like much about it, but I love the truck so much. And this is like my first purchase of with my signing bonus, so just kind of just like... It's special to Yeah, you. it's a blessing. Yeah. It's a blessing to be able to buy stuff like this at how young we are. And yeah, I put a lot of money into it, but I love it so much, so I'm thankful for it. Dang, very All I do is get paid so I don't freestyle. Cole's gonna buy this. I'm about to buy this real quick. You know, flashing on him. Dude, no. <laughs> Some, something's like, I'm like wine somewhere. Dude, yeah, that's terrible. That's awful. Yeah, this is Cam's new. This is gonna be his game day fit. GG. Good, good. Good, good. Who did Chris just see but doesn't so, want to tell us? He just met Mike Bibby in uh, Shoe Palace. He didn't know who it was. He was staring at him for a long time. Heard the name Mike. He was like, oh man, <laughs> got it. Uh, and then we just I told you guys to come to get it on the video. Oh, and sorry. you guys were like, no, we're in blue. Yeah, you and, were in there for two hours. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> hey, this is, hey, hey, so dude, dude said, 
Dude said Mike Bibby like he's actually like a big <laughs> name. Dude, Dude Mike Bibby's fire. Mike Bibby. Dude. He was cool in the 1900s. You All know right. his name to one point. So we went to Lululemon. What? How? Got some got some stuff. Dude. Shout out to our girl Natalie. Her husband actually plays in the Cubs organization, so we How got a that? nice discount. She is the person. She's the best. Natalie's the Yeah, she's the plug. She yeah. is the best. So shout out to her. On game. Brennan's still getting stuff Brennan in there. Brennan is still, he bought like seven things. The dude loves to spend money at Lulu. <laughs> All right, after checking out for the fourth time today in the same place, Brennan's done. What'd you get? I got some work polos, you know, gotta look good going to the field. <laughs> some casual going out shirts. Well, he's like the only one that actually wears the polos. Everyone else wears normal street clothes. <laughs> I like to look good. You gotta look good, man. I, look good. I usually wouldn't even buy this. The guy's found. <laughs> How about that? We're out here in AZ. <laughs> Stupid <laughs> Chicken nuggets or pizza? Uh, where's the pizza from? Just any, just pizza. Dude. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> All right. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. There we go. Let's go. Pizza win. The log? I knew I was gonna be on that. <laughs> oh yeah, got yeah, it. Let me get in the video. Looking like my grandma taking selfie videos. Yeah, he does. Bro. Oh like, my god. Why you just can't, you we got just the can't give the camera to somebody the else. Oh, do you want the camera? Yeah. Alright, here you go. Let me film it. Yeah, oh, you put the Follow me on the gram. Uh, hey. <laughs> Gang with me. There you go. The man. Coachella Glove. Show him love. Hey. Chop a stop, chop, chop, chop a stop. Uh oh, Brennan. Everybody, Brennan got the dance moves on the team. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This kid can't dance at all. <laughs> Ever. He's horrible. <laughs> this dude got no clout. <laughs> no clout ever. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you serious? Pull them out, pull them out, pull them out. Pull them out. They're all like, let me see them. Awesome. You can pull them out, you can pull them out. Let's go, let's go. You're fine. You're a big boy. I'm a little though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Bring out the sauce. What? Dude has every shade uh, of brown ever made. <laughs> what? You have every shade of brown ever made. You got the vanilla. Dude, you got I got light three tan. of these. Hey, are three of them. Why do you need three? You got the black. Hey, let me hey, do you, hey, They're all different colors. Oh, my. Hey, to the Disney store. We got to match his outfits. <laughs> Alright, so the next question from Colorado Gloves. Uh, what's the clubhouse life like? The clubhouse life is different <laughs> than what you're gonna think. Uh, <laughs> Every day we uh, walk in and there's some Latin screaming. It's a normal day in our lives. There's some parties. It's parties. It's, a, it's, it's different. Dead. Every day you walk in, there's something different going on. Um, other than that, though, it's really laid back. You got like the Americans playing music, just kind of hanging out, talking. Just like it's a good time. Like. You get dudes that are all across the country just like that are like you, that want to talk to you and kind of see what you're about. So 
It's a good time, like it really is. Other than like the Latin screaming and like fighting know, naked, like it's a good time. It's a, <laughs> it's a mix of cultures. It's not all the same language in there. Yeah, it's it's way different than what you expect. <laughs> well, hey, about, first day, first day on in fun. the clubhouse, right? Oh, clubhouse? I get there yeah, and I yeah. walk in, go set my stuff down locker. Two Latins are fighting, like wrestling, butt naked. Nah, no, you can't. I walked right back out. All right, there so this go. question is from uh, Wagons House W R X, and it says, uh, "How long are you willing to stay in the minor league system in order to reach your dreams of playing the show?" Um, honestly, I'm 20 days. I'm willing to stay in the minor leagues as long as it like I can afford to stay there. Like, like it, you got to be able to live to play baseball. So if I can afford to play there, I'm gonna be there. Uh, I got like 24 days left, and I'm I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the league as soon as possible. So that wasn't the question at all. <laughs> I, I, I hope, I hope you try to get to the league. As soon nah, as man, possible. you gotta you gotta give it your all. If you're going into this game, you gotta know you're not gonna be there. Very the question quick. is, how long would you want to be in the minors? Yeah, sport? no. How so long? What, I'm in it. How many days? I physically can't go anymore. How many days? How many days? Oh, yeah. I said 24. Yeah, I, I said I'm there until I physically can't afford to be there. That's a solid answer. Like that's that's a going for the kids. <laughs> it's, he's all about the kids. Honestly, I'm all about the kids. kids. I'm starving. I really hope we get some food soon and go back to the house, play some Fortnite. Yeah, I'm trying to crush little kids in Fortnite. That's what I like to do, you know? Hey, after, um, what team were you on as a sophomore in high school? So, like, varsity, JV. All right, go for it, guys. All right, so as a sophomore in high school, I played, I started on varsity. Uh, I was the only sophomore starting on varsity. And, uh, Cole, I guarantee you plays varsity. Brendan didn't really play baseball that much. He was, like, a basketball star. I played JV as a sophomore. <laughs> I played varsity. Started on JV. As a sophomore, I, I was on the freshman team. <laughs> as a senior, I was on the yeah. team. Sophomore. I got cut my sophomore year. I was on, I was on the varsity team, but I didn't play, but JV shortstop Four right here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but Chris told us that he got cut his sophomore year. <laughs> it does not surprise me whatsoever. Hey, Michael Jordan got cut his sophomore year. Yeah, he did. He yeah, did go. Hey, but Michael Jordan's a little hey, better than Chris. But look who on my shirt. Michael Jordan. He's also Michael Jordan. I'm basically Jordan. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think Michael Jordan uh, uh, I think I think Michael fans. Jordan was Michael good in the pros. Hey. Oh, oh, look at my kids. Jordan, if you're a Chris yeah, Allen, solid, you're going to make it. Trust me. Hey, You already know. It's the boys. Back baby. again. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh God! If you off the wheel, oh God! Okay, Cole. If you can, if you can't tell, <laughs> if you can't tell, all of us are still kids. Like, it's Everyone, awesome. yeah, no one. Go! All of us are still kids. Chris. We all mess around like little kids all the time. Chris, yeah. Yeah. All right, so they're going that way. Cole, Chris, and I are going this way. We are uh, leaving the mall right now. We had a good day. Good day shopping. Oh, so we're probably gonna head back to Tempe right now. I uh, bought so. more stuff that I didn't need. So. <laughs> I'll, I'll drive us to, uh, to our house. All right. There goes Cole. He just dropped us back off. Chris and I are just can't keep for a bit. It was long days. Alright, here's uh, Chris's room right now. Apparently, he got kicked out of his room. So this is bed for now. Yeah, he lives on the couch now. We got the pool table. I'm going back to California. Alright, Olu just got here. You guys remember him from my last video. So what's up? Boys. We out here in the Cubs facility. <laughs> All right, they got quite the setup here. They got slot machines inside the Cubs house. Oh, let's check one out right now. Might have to jump on one of these right now. That's the island greeting that we sent to you. From the land where palm trees swing. Do we know that Christmas will be green and bright? Because I'm my thing. You gotta know. Come on, stay with me. Thing, thing. Going on. We both know that it's wrong. As it is. Kea kuo mau ho o mai ka ipu. 
That's not worth it. Alright, so we just got like salt. Good day. <laughs> All right, so we're back home. Just gonna kick it for now, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. I uh, had a lot of fun filming that with the Cubs guys. So hopefully, I can um, I can get more content for tomorrow. I'm probably gonna go hitting with Olu tomorrow. So uh, you know what we're gonna do. You guys will see that. So stay tuned for that. Thank you. Feeling good. This is Coachella. Hold up, let me tell you. I'm just closing in the block. Yeah, yeah, we got gloves off the top. Yeah. And this girl, yeah, she give me top. Yeah, yeah, she's from the dime. She's out for feet. I don't. Here's one of the gloves I haven't shown you guys yet, but uh, this is a Nolan Arenado glove. It's unreal. Signed by Nolan. Silver Sharpie on the Timber Glaze. This is just. This is honestly one of the best gloves I own. I love the look of this, and just to have a piece like this from a player like Nolan is just, it's really cool. All right, Olu, what's your favorite glove? All right, Out of all, everything. I like this glove right here. Oh, yeah. It's my boy, Alika Williams, 808. I've actually thrown, this is the first glove I actually, before I committed, this is the glove. That's the glove you threw I actually with? had it, yeah. Wow, how about I threw that? With this glove, so this is one of, this is That's one special, one. yeah. And it's cleaned up, so you know my boy Coachella <laughs> takes care of the gloves. Yes, you know sir. So this is why I like this glove a lot. Perfect mm -hmm. condition. Let's go. See it. Honestly, I buy a glove like this. Broken in, like. What's up, guys? Good morning. Um, Olu's still here, and uh, we're gonna be going to get his car right now and get some breakfast, and then we're gonna take some cuts at Muni. So I'll, we'll bring you guys along for that. Show you guys some of the new facility and show you guys our swings. So we'll see you guys there. Coachella. <laughs> We're leaving right now. We're gonna go to Muni, get some cuts in. Picked up Chris. He's back. He's thriving. He's got a bat. You don't know why that's a thing, but. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video with the cage and then also with uh, the Cubs guys that you guys got to ask questions to earlier. Really hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see when that is. Alright, I'll see you guys. There we go. Yeah, there we go. What? <laughs> 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 <laughs>